Hello everybody, welcome to Body Magic online class with Harry Somanovic. We are at the moment in 19 languages here. And I'm grateful for all translators and for all people who are here from many countries all over this planet. So what can we create today with bodies? The title is Body, Body Magic. And I would like to share with people the different reality with bodies is possible. And somehow when you observe people, people have different realities with body. So they are creating their body differently. Even if we are, we are buying that we are all having the same bodies, even if we are buying that we are all having the same reality, everybody still have different body and everybody's having different creation with their body. Everybody's having different reality with body. So what if you don't need to buy anymore what the most people are buying as their reality, what the most people are, are creating as their reality, what if it doesn't need to be your reality? When did you decide that what is true for 99% of people is also true for you? And what if it doesn't need to be true for you anymore, what is true for other people? And what is also true for bodies? So what if nothing is really true and everything is a creation, so you can create anything with your body? How is this for you? What if nothing is really true, everything is a creation, and you can create anything with your body? Anything. How is your body responding to this? What if you don't need to buy truth from other people? And what if to create your body, you don't need to have any absolute truth or any starting point of views to create your body. How many of these point of views, what body is, how to create body, are you buying, are you duplicating from other people? And what if you don't need to do this anymore? What if you don't need to be this anymore? What if you can have your unique creation with your body? What if you can have your unique reality with your body? And you can be something totally different with your body on this planet. You can be something totally unique. So what if, what if body is a choice? And you are choosing together with your body what you would like to create. What if body is a choice? And you are choosing together with your body, what would you like to create? How is your body responding to this? What if your body can be more unique? What if you don't need to create from reality of other people anymore? What if reality, what other people are having with their body is not interesting for you and for your body? So what would you like to create with your body? And what is magic to be understandable? You don't need to create. You don't need to control how to create. Do you hear me? So you don't need to understand how to create. You don't need to control how to create. You allow yourself to be. You can allow yourself to be surprised with your creation, with your body. So body, how can we create something amazing together? Body, how can we create something incredible together? Body, how can we be the most as we can be? And also, body is not, it's maybe not so much what we think that it is. How many decisions, point of views, definitions do we have what body is? What if body is much more than that? What if body is connected with everything in your life and body is not so much just physical? What if body is whole life? Are you alive? 
Harris, I don't know if it's only me, but I, I, it was breaking the line. Yes, it was frozen. I, I couldn't hear like anything for some moments. Me too. Um, yes, me, and too, me too. Me too. Yes, I think Harris went out and is coming in again. Yes, I think connection is not too good. Yes. Lost connection for a while. So if you if you are creating Yeah, I'm not hearing at all. Harris, we can't hear you. You're freezing, Harris. We cannot hear you. Hello, do you hear me now? Yes, we hear so, you. Thank you. Yeah, much better. I'm, I'm now on mobile phone. So when you choose to have future, you are changing your body. And when you choose, more you choose amazing future, more your body is interested. More you are changing with your body, more you are creating with your body. So what future, what future can you I need to mute everybody. Can you mute yourself, please? What future can you choose today to change your body, to create more with your body? And if you are not creating the future, if you are not creating amazing future, if you are not choosing to have a future, how much you are stopping your body? How much are you avoiding creation with your body? Do you get the difference? So what future can you choose to have that is totally changing your body? And how much are you avoiding to create amazing future so you don't need to create with your body? So you don't need to include your body so you can separate from your body. What if you can choose to have amazing future? What if you can choose to create amazing future? How is this for you? How is this influencing your body? And you can say, body, what would you like to play? Body, what would you like to create? Body, what if we can create something amazing together? Body, what if we can create something amazing together? So let's play, body. What if you can create your life about playing? What if you can play your life and you don't need to make your life so serious. What if you can play your life and you don't need to make your life so serious? How is this for your body? And what can, you create? what can you create if you are playing life? What can you create if you are playing life? So how much are you solving problems so you can ignore, you can separate from your body and you, you are never choosing to create different future. So what if with choosing of the future, you are changing your body? 
And what if you can choose today the future, which is making your body excited? What can this future be? What future can you choose today that is making your body really interested? What future can you choose today that is making your body excited? What future can you choose today that is really interesting for your body that you would truly like to create? And what if you don't need to create life of other people anymore and you can create something unique, something yours, something different? How is your body responding to this? But if your body is not so much interested to have life of other people, and your body would like more that you are creating something different, something new on this planet. Your body would like to have more adventure. So is your body changing with this? How is your body responding to this? Do you get that organs are more alive? That there is more energy with your body? So more you are creating the future, more you can change your body. It doesn't work so good if you stop creation, if you stop life. It doesn't work so good when you are trying to stop life to solve some problems. It's working much better more you are creating, more you have flexible life, more you have changeable life, more you can change also with your body. So how much is your life fixed so your body can be fixed? How much, is your, how much you are controlling your life, how much you are keeping your life the same so your body can be also unchangeable? So how many things in your life and in your body are you keeping unchangeable? And what if you don't need to do it anymore? What if you can create something differently? And also like when you were sick or when you visited some doctor, how much was your awareness that you are creating this differently than they are saying? how much you just knew that creation with the body is something different and it's not enough for you how they are changing body when they are trying to change something physically or chemically. What do you know? What awareness did you have when you visited a doctor or when you were sick? What if you knew that you are creating this sickness differently and it's not something what you just fix? and it could be connected with everything in your life. So what can you choose today to totally change your body? What amazing future can you choose today so you can change your body, you can change your life totally? And how much are you avoiding to choose and to create a future which is truly interesting for you and which is making your body alive. How much are you avoiding to have life as an adventure? How much are you avoiding to create a different future? And if you open yourself to this today, what can you create? What can you be? How is this for you? So how much are you keeping small life to kill your body, to stop your body, to control your body. And if you allow yourself to have bigger life, how is your body responding to this? If you include more people in your life, how is your body responding to this? If you allow yourself to include more amazing people in your life, how is your body responding to this? If you allow yourself and your body to receive from more amazing people, how is your body responding to this? So what if you don't need to be alone anymore in your life and you can invite more amazing, incredible people to your life, which they can be amazing contribution for your body and for your life? What if you can invite more incredible people to your life, 
which they can be incredible contribution to your body and to your life and to creations with your body. How is this for your body? If you have more amazing people, how much are you keeping yourself alone in your life so you don't need to receive from anybody, so you don't need to enjoy your life, so you don't need to be happy? And we can go to some questions. Do we have some questions? Just ask anything. Nivedita had a question. Yes. Hear me? Yes. Uh, so we have a question from Italian. Um, Maria is asking, what magic can I use to heal from cancer? Quale magia posso usare per guarire dal cancer? Can you repeat, please? So, what magic can I use to heal from cancer? Cancer? Yes. What is cancer? What is cancer? So what if you never need to define cancer? What if you don't need to make it true? And you, you are, what if you can invite the body to, to enjoy life and you don't need to work on a problem? So many times when we are trying to heal the sickness, we are keeping the sickness. We are not changing it because we are giving power to sickness. What if creation with body can be that you are inviting body to playfulness with this planet. You are inviting body to enjoy this planet. And what if with this invitation, everything can change in a body? And when you are trying to solve problems, what if you are keeping the problems and you are giving power to the problems? So what if you don't need to buy any diagonals, you can invite body to be alive with this planet and you can invite body to change to create more and you don't need to work on sicknesses when we are defining sicknesses when we are making them wrong we are keeping them and we are giving power to them so how to create more magic with body is that you invite body to playfulness with this planet and everything is changing in the body we can all create now this energy together on this online class. Let's invite each other to playfulness with this planet. Let, let's invite each other's body on everybody on this class. Let's invite each other's body to playfulness with this planet. Let's choose to play on this planet. Let's choose to stay longer on this planet. And let's choose that we are alive with our body, so we are not so much interested in, die, in dying. People are interested in dying. This is how they create different sicknesses. They are interested in dying. Whole reality is about dying. Dying is a good thing. If you are alive, that's a bad thing. So let's invite each other, everybody here on this online class. Let's be together energy with each other. Expand, allow yourself that you are bigger. And you don't need to control this. Let's do this together. You don't need to control how we are doing this. Okay? It's totally uncontrollable. It's magic. So just be something what is inviting all the people on this class to be alive with their body and to create playful future. How can I be something now that is inviting all people on this class to be alive, all bodies on this class to be alive and to create playful future? So be a question. What can we be now to be invitation to playful future for all the bodies on this online class and all the bodies who are going to listen to this also on YouTube channel? What can I be now to be invitation to playfulness with this planet? 
what can I be now to be invitation to playfulness with this planet? What can I be now to be invitation to playfulness with this planet? So what if you can be this change? What if you can be this contribution? What if you can choose to stay on this planet longer? What if you can choose to play with this planet? And then you are inviting other bodies to this. You are inviting people to this. So they don't need to be so much in dying anymore. What contribution can we be to each other so we don't need to be in reality of, di of dying anymore? And what if you don't need to solve problems, you are invitation to bodies, to people to choose more, to be alive, to create life which makes them excited, to create life which makes them interested. People are dying because they need to have boring life of other people. There is from this reality, there, there are expectations, projections, de demands, what you need to be. And nobody is asking you, what would you like to be? What would you like to create? It's all the time you need to be this, you need to be this. And you are just fulfilling some targets of somebody else. So what if you don't need to be part of this anymore? What if you can create life on this planet? Is this interesting for you? And when you are being this, anything can change in a body. And it's answer for all the questions in the chat. <laughs> So what, what, what are allergies? Allergy, the only true allergy is allergy to joy. So we have allergy, it's allergetic response. So we never enjoy our life. We never receive, so we can have control. That's the only true allergy, which can show up in many different ways. Uh, we have a... Yes. Can I do it? Yes. Okay, so somebody from Serb Croatian Serbian said, uh, I have pain in my uh, right shoulder for a longer time. I was sending it to the, to the origins and clear, doing the clearings, but uh, I was asking, what is it? And without the consciousness of, about that, it was only a blank. So, what if you are in life of somebody else? What if you are inside of their life? How much of your life is from somebody, from somebody else? And what if you don't need to choose this anymore? How much of your life is from somebody else? And what if you don't need to be this anymore? So some kind of you, it doesn't work so good when you are trying to change just one thing because maybe you are totally in life of somebody else. Some kind of, it's hard to change one thing if your life is totally defined and controllable. So we are trying to solve problems instead of creating amazing life. How much are you trying to solve problems and you are taking for sure that you are never creating amazing life you would like to solve problems so you can have the same life. So how much of your life is preparation for dying? How much of your life is preparation for dying? And if you don't need to die anymore, how is your shoulder responding to this? She wrote, uh, she wrote, uh, that's it, thank you, and heart. <laughs> thank you. Hello? Is it better now? Can I ask her, is it better now? Yes? I have a question here um, from Nilda. Um, 
she asks this um, for you to clear about the true um, the true um, um, playing with the body. Sometimes the she perceived uh, she perceives that uh, other bodies would like to play with her, but yes. she's the the sense of be careful. Okay, so. What we do, we are making playing about copulation, about physical sex. What if you can play with bodies and you don't need to make it about copulation? Also, what, what is your body? Your body is energetical contribution to other bodies. That's why other bodies are interested in you. So what if this is your clients for energetical sessions with bodies and you don't need to make them some future sexual partner. What if this is your clients? Your body is amazing, your energy is amazing, your energetical contribution. So you can do more sessions with bodies and you can also receive money for that. Hadis? Yes. I have a question. This is Zelia from India. Uh, yeah. So I have, I'm sensing a some kind of intensity in my left calf and it's there since a long time I've done like you know the regular medical thing like the x-ray and stuff but it's not nothing is coming up so I wonder what's right about this what questions can I ask here so uh, did you clear entities okay so yeah I did right? not so much but I so did can we do it now yes to everybody on this online class? Okay, everybody say yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. So how much you were using yes. entities so you don't need to be so present with your body? How much are you using entities so you can ignore your body? And what if you don't need to use entities anymore to ignore your body? What if you need, don't need to use entities anymore to ignore your body? And how much you both that entities are real and true and you were aware of them and you were away from your body with this awareness. And what if you don't need to be away from your body with awareness and you can ask, how can I be more with my body? How can I be all the time with my body as much as my body requires from me? How can I be all the time with my body as much as my body requires from me to be happy? You can be this question. How is it now? Harry? Yes. Harris? Yes. I have a question about uh, can you talk about people with autism and THD? Yes, so it's a capacity. The capacity is different realities, different embodiments. And you can explore together with these people and they can explore how can they be who they are. And this is for everybody who is here. So ask for more awareness, what are you? And ask for mo more awareness, how to be you, how to have ease with yourself. And how autistic you are that you are maybe not recognizing. When I watch some, some autistic people or some movies, TV shows with autistic people, I recognize myself a lot and I understand more my behavior in my life. So what if you are autistic and you are maybe not recognizing? So explore how to be you, how to be different. Don't try to be like others, explore your uniqueness and explore your capacities and more you learn you learn about your capacities more ease you can have with them because you learn how to use them <laughs> so they don't need to work against you 
If you are not aware of your capacity, your <laughs> capacity can work against you. And they are different. So what we do stupidity in this reality, we are trying to make everybody the same. Also, these schools are made for robots. They are trying to make you a robot in the school. And we could have something totally differently. So some people, they are not good, good in school because they can't be so mentally limited to learn database and to read and to write. It's, you need to limit yourself. You need to linearize yourself so you can read, you can write, or you can be database. And some people, some children can't limit themselves so much. They are too gifted, too talented. So what if we can have different schools, different jobs, and it doesn't need to be so much about being a robot, what they are doing from children in school. So these children have so many amazing talents. They can be amazing contribution. And what is school about? School is making you a calculator and database. And it's fucked up. And you, you kill your body with this. If you are learning how to be computer, how to be robot for 20 years, you are killing your body. That's why people, when they are eight years old, they are full of life. When they are 26, when they finish school, they are depressed and paralyzed. So school is created to paralyze people. And these people, many, many of these people who are considered also autistic, they are not choosing to robotize themselves. They are not choosing to limit themselves. So, so can children, children go to school? We can create different schools. We can ask we can for create different school. schools. We can ask for different schools to show up. Awesome. So what if it can be school that you are a lot outside? We are too little outside. We are too, too much in the houses. And what if we, can, if we can have school that you are exploring different talents? And it can be 20% of school about being calculator and database. 80% of the school can be about exploring different talents. And you can play most of the school. What if we can create this school? And what if, if we can have school that you are learning and exploring what you would like to learn and explore, and you, can, you allow yourself to be something totally different? And the thing is, when we create with fun, with joy, you can learn anything. Like these children, when they are happy, when they are joyful, when you know how to invite them, they can learn anything. With push energy, they are, they are resisting, they are not doing it because they are not stupid as adult people to do something what they must do. They are not buying it. So when somebody is pushing them to something, they are resisting. And many teachers, many parents, they don't know how to be invitation. So what if you can be invitation to these people and more they have fun in their life, they can learn anything. With fun, they can learn anything. And with hard, with hard time, they can't learn. Hard. Because, because they are not stupid like adult people to do stupid things for more decades, for more stands of years. Like adult people are doing stupid things which they hate for more tens of years. They learned how to be robots from other adult people. And, some children, some people are not choosing this. Yes? yes? The intensity on my left calf is still there. It's in fact increased a little bit. Okay, so what can you choose now in your life to change this? I would love to be more present with myself and so be in the body. <laughs> what future can you choose now? with your body to change this? Can, can you be this question? What future can I choose now with my body to create this, to change this? What future can I choose now with my body to change this? Okay, I'm what just future, one more. Sorry. How, much is your, how much is your future defined? How much you are mm -hmm. controlling your future? 
what have you decided about your, your future? So what future can I choose now to change this? Can you repeat this question for yourself? Yes. What Thank future you can I choose now to change this? What future can I choose now to change this? Also, when people are trying to solve the problem, they are stopping their life. When they are mm -hmm. trying to solve the sickness, they are stopping their life. You need to choose the future. And when you choose the future, the sickness can change. And when you are stopping the future, when you are stopping your life to solve the sickness, it's dangerous that you can keep yourself in the same with the sickness. So yes. you are creating dying. So what future can I choose to change this? Awesome. How much are you avoiding to be creator of amazing future? Yes? <laughs> Hello. Uh, how much how can I be more present with my body I I feel I'm generally roaming somewhere it's or a the question other. it's a question we already said this question so how can I be all the time as present with my body as as much as my body require it for orgasmic embodiment it's this question so how can I be uh, present with my so body much. all the time also during the night as much as my body require it for orga orgasmic embodiment? It's this question. Okay. Even now, Paris? Um, yes, just speak. I have a question from Sahaja Renata from Brazil. Okay. She was in your uh, SP. And she uh, she became in a space uh, with her body, and then she felt like strange and out of the box. And the the question is, where is she stopping herself? So she was on body class in Sao Paulo. That's yeah. The okay. So the thing is, with classes, we create something, and still after the class, you need to choose to create the future how much you are passive in your creations how much life is happening to you so you are never choosing different future how much life is happening to you so body class happen to you and then after the class instead of choosing to be something different to create amazing future life is happening to you so how much you are passive with creation of your life and what if life don't need to be anymore that is happening to you? You don't need to be part of lottery anymore. How much you are choosing to be part of lottery that anything just can happen. So what if you can choose what you would like to create? And you don't need to be so much passive anymore that anything can just happen. And when you are choosing, when you are creating, something what is trying to stop you you just don't let it stop you don't make it true don't make it real whatever is trying to stop you and you are all the time choosing what is contribution you are all the time choosing what is creating more so you make true what is creating more you make you make it true you make it real and what is not creating more you don't need to make it true or real anymore how much can you create and how much are you making what is stopping you more real than contribution so you don't need to create a different future? How much you are making limitations real and contribution, contribution not so real so you don't need to create different future? So you can have total control. And what if you can create amazing things with this planet? And what can that be? And open yourself with this question and you don't need to understand anything. It's about being a question. This is the most powerful tool of which we learned with access consciousness. It's, a, it's about being a question. When you are being a question, you change your body, you change your whole life and you change this planet with this question. It's already changed. It's already done when you are being a question. It's already created. So how can I create something amazing with this planet? When you say it, when you are being this question, it's already created. And you don't need to get any answer. You don't need to get, you don't need to do anything. 
it's about being a question and being being a question is changing your embodiment it's changing everything and people are not using this to be a question because it's too easy too fast too good too powerful they are trying to solve the problems so they never need to be something different anything else hi harris yes uh, i'm shita from india so i have a question uh, about i get a, i get slight pain towards my left hand side kidney area i don't know why whenever i'm a, real, a bit stressed i'm working as a flight attendant so whenever i get back from my work then i sit alone i get a little bit of pain towards my right hand side kidney area i don't know why and it is still paining so there is many questions with pain so i can just say for everybody what if pain is resistance to joy what if pain is resistance to receive and what if pain is resistance to awareness so how much are you resisting to joy how much you are resisting to receive how much you are resisting your awareness and what if your body would like to choose something else yeah so how much are you ignoring your body to have predictable choices mm-hmm. what if your body would like to tell you that there is much more available and much more possible than what you are creating at the moment in your life also one more question i am still stuck with did you that, hear me now i can hear so what if your body is telling you that there is much more available much more possible at the moment than what you are choosing mm. and what if you are ignoring this awareness awesome so how much are you controlling your life to ignore your body what if your body is trying to tell you that much more is possible you can create much more amazing life that you are creating the, the pain the has subsided what pain has gone okay <laughs> thank you cool thank you anything else anybody yes so there is a question uh, uh, the from the moments ago the woman said that the shoulder is much better and it became alive and another thing is that uh, it is happening to me that i'm uh, receiving that i'm getting the pain uh and that i know that this is from the other people that i want to help and i'm returning it to the source and i acknowledge that i am a healer uh hence sometimes the intensity doesn't stop what else i so can do? i can explain now okay so please listen everybody Indiana. okay listen everybody please let's change this reality so what we are doing how much you are a super healer in your life and open yourself to more awareness now with this how much am i a super healer and what means a super healer it means that you are maybe healing thousands of people all the time what if you are maybe what if you are maybe healing thousands of people all the time what if you are working during the night and this is one of the lies which was told to us long ago that we need to heal and we need to help and with healing and helping how much you are sponsoring and supporting the reality of dying of being victim of their life how much you are sponsoring this reality that these people are would like to die they are not interested to be alive they would like to be sick and they are victims of their life so they are avoiding life how much you are supporting them how much you are supporting this reality of being a victim of their life how much you are supporting reality of dying by trying to help them and heal them how much you are helping stupidity with this and how much you are killing your body when you are helping and healing so how much are you using helping and healing so you don't need to be happy you don't need to be joyful you don't need to create different future 
different reality with bodies. So what if you don't need to help anymore? What if you don't need to heal anymore? And you can just ignore this stupidity. Thank you. You would like to die. Okay, die. And you don't need to be interested anymore in dying people. How much you are interested in dying people around your body, like a few kilometers around your body? And what if you are preventing dying to hundreds and thousands of people at the moment? What if you are stopping them from dying? And how much energy are you using to prevent their dying? What if you can allow them to die? What if you can let it go now? You can allow them to die. So how much you are using helping and healing so you don't need to have your life and you don't need to create a different reality with bodies. You don't need to be happy. You don't need to be orgasmic and you don't need to be the true contribution to this planet. What is true contribution to bodies? And this planet is that you are choosing to be alive and you stop helping these people who would like to die just let them die so how much more can you choose that you follow the energy of expansion with your body and you are inviting more people to your life who are choosing to be alive and you don't you are not interested anymore so much in the energy of dying which you are trying to solve so how much of dying are you inviting to your body every day instead of inviting more of living? What if you can invite more of living to your body? What if you can invite more bodies to your life which are choosing to be alive? And we are creating different reality together. We are creating reality when we are enjoying this planet more and more and more and enjoying it more and more and more and enjoying it more and more and more. So how much can you invite now living into your body? Alive generative energy, alive energy, generative energy, orgasmic energy with your body. And you finish with the energy of dying. Just say goodbye to the energy of dying. I'm not interested, interested anymore in your dying, in your choosing to be a victim. If there is a sin on this planet, that's a sin, to avoid to be alive, to choose to be a victim of your life. I'm not interested anymore. So what if you can be interested now in people who are choosing to be alive? And what if you can be now interested in people who are choosing to create more in the future? And you don't need to be interested anymore in dying people, people who are trying to create less. People who are saying every day no to life. What if they are saying no to life, no to possibilities every day and you don't need to be sponsor and supporter of this reality anymore? Wow. And you can fuck off this reality. How is that? So I have how a question. Is, how is this for you? Yeah. So if when people come to get healed, I mean, you know, uh, they come with a condition, health condition, and they ask me to run a body process. So what, what is the approach here then? Am I not healing? And what is the difference between giving a body process and healing? So maybe I showed you on body class. If you are healing, you are going to help all the sick grandpas and grandmas on your, on your sessions. This is healing. And if you are going to do sessions about creation, you are going to have the most sexy people on, on your sessions. So what would you choose? <laughs> I would, would you like to choose heal? the creation. Like, would you like to make last five days of some grandma <laughs> happy that she's saying in last five days of her life, I love Swami? Or you would like to help these amazing sexy bodies on your sessions? <laughs> it's a choice. So. Healing, with healing, you're going to have six people, sick pe people, and they are giving you money so you can agree with them being a victim of their life. And it's a hard job. You, can, you are killing your body because it's too boring for your body. How much when you were doing healing or helping, 
your body was tired and sleepy and yes. what if you can do session in a way that is contribution to your body you don't need to do a session in a way that's hard for your body so when you are when you are healing people it can be hard for the body because these people are not choosing to change you are just giving away energy which you can use differently so most of the people are just bringing you money so they don't need to change anything and if you if you improve your prices you are going to have more people who are choosing change wow okay so many times people say it's too expensive for me because it's it's too expensive for them like expensive you so the price of class or session is too much money for them because they are not choosing to change anything so mostly they go they visit doctors so they doctors agree with the, with their sickness true so sorry for this information <laughs> <laughs> Like you are cute humanoids, you think that people are choosing to be alive and they are interested in change. What you need to know about people is that they are, they are never going to change. People are never going to change. That's it. Basta. And finish with your expectations. If you know that people are never going to change, you can be sometimes positively surprised. And also you are more aware of them. If you are expecting that they would like to change, you are not aware of them anymore. So you are not invitation to them. So wow. what if you can recognize people more on your sessions and classes that they are not choosing to change? So you can maybe contribute more to their change if you are aware. If you are not expecting, of course, they would like to change. Nobody would like to change. There is no logic in human life. Mostly people don't want to change anything. Well, I mean, what you said is right. I, my body feels expansive when it comes to a session, a verbal clearing session. However, I have recently ap applied for a body process facilitator and I have people who are sick and they are the one who are approaching me to teach them the body process. So what should be my point of view or approach or the space or the energy from which I need to function? So ask, one thing is ask your body and explore how to do it in the way that is joyful for your body. That is creating more okay. in your life. This is the main energy, how you are choosing prices, when, where you do the class, if it's joyful for your body. Okay, yeah. Okay, thank you. So you, you improve the prices because bigger price is going to be more joyful to your body. How much you weren't sure about this because the price is too little. When yes. you are not sure about something, that's, that's because it's no. Because when, when something is yes, it's very clear yes. Yes! So like being body process facilitator was yes for you and now you can explore how to be it that it's still yes for you how to do classes and sessions that is creating more for you and for your body yes so you are I'm not here. choosing yeah. like you are not doing a lot of sessions cheap sessions with people who are not choosing to change is better less sessions less classes and in more amazing way Awesome. What yeah. can you create if when you are choosing a session and a class, you are choosing amazing session, amazing class. And not just to be some therapist. You know, when you go to some therapist who is all the time in office, many times they are not happy with their body. So what if you don't need to have so much working hours and you can have reality which is more playful for your body. Thank you so much. That is so expensive. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, uh, Harris. Hello, Harris. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm Shamli from India. I would like to know uh, if, if there is any awareness you would like to share about allergies, skin infection. 
So I, I said before already about allergies, because somebody wrote something in the chat. For me, how I see it, the only true allergy is allergy to joy. It's allergy to joy, allergy to receive. And it can be also connected with avoiding uh, awareness. So it can be resistance to joy, resistance to receive and resistance to awareness. And you, you never need to say allergy, you never need to, uh, when you define it as allergy, you are buying point of views from this reality. So there is something going on with your body and you ask the body, body, what is this? What can we do with it? Can we change it and how can we change it? So allergies are not so true somehow. Thank you so much. Harris? Hello, hi. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes. Hi, it's Mary from Egypt. Hello. Yes. Uh, hello, I just want to ask about uh, if I want to change something in my body, uh, okay? Yes. I, I just say it. I, I want, for example, I want a, a certain color of my eye, I want a certain body shape, or I just tell my body, body be the most irresistible and sexy body or what you want. So you can also just say it is somehow you are being and doing with body what is creating more. There is no direct instructions how to create with body. And how creation with body works, works better is when you are playful space of communion with your body. When you are playful space of communion with your body, you can create yes. anything by, by the way. You create anything by the way without any significance. When we are giving some significance, when, when we are defining something, making something wrong, when we are yes. judging, when we are judging something in the body, many mm -hmm. times we are creating opposite results as we would mm -hmm. like to. Yes. So creation with body works from playful communion with the body. You can just say anything by the way with playfulness and it doesn't need to be created and it can be created. How is your body responding to this? Yeah. And how much amazing. your body, how much your body would like to show you what is possible? Maybe Something I can also. say what, show me what you're capable of. Yeah, you can say that this, yeah. yeah. Body show me, yeah. we are speaking also this to everybody here. Yeah. Body show me what is possible. Body show me what can we be. Body surprised me today. Body, yes. show me more today. <laughs> Body, what yeah. can we create that it was uh -huh. impossible until now? Yeah. Body, Thank how you. can we create something impossible? Yeah. And you are opening yourself to different reality with body, with expressions. Yes. And you don't need to be anymore in reality of other people. Uh -huh. Harris, okay. I have a question. Hello, Harris. Yes. Anna, is speak. Hello, Harris. Yes, speak. Maria Please. speaking. Please. I'm from yeah. Macedonia, actually. I'm living in Malta. I'm uh, so happy to be uh, here. So I would like to ask you, I had fibroid removal operation around seven years You need to speak a little slower, please, because 19 translators need to understand you. Okay. So okay, I had fibroid people. removal on my uterus seven okay. years ago. In the meantime, my body and me, we create three more fib fibroids on my uterus. Uh, one of them is uh, big, like six uh, centimeters, and it prevents pregnancy. So I would like to ask, what question can I be and what kind of body process can I use that could make some change uh, within my body? So how much are you trying to create small life so you can be afraid of everything? And what if you can allow yourself that you have so big life that you, you, don't, you can't be afraid of anything anymore? Can you allow yourself that you are now so big and your life is now so big? Can you expand? Can you allow yourself that you are bigger? So what if you can be so big that fear disappears. 
and mm -hmm. everything is included in you and you don't need to be separated from anything. Everything is included in you and you don't need to be separated from anything. I see. Thank you very much. Hi, Harris. Yes. Um, I wanted to ask you one thing that uh, from six to eight months, I'm um, noticing a lot of inflammation in my thumbs. And I've gone to rehabilitations, I've gone to doctors, but everybody seems to give me a different opinion. So I was wondering how I can help myself towards it. So what can you be, what can you, can you choose now with your body to change this? You can ask a question, what energy, space and consciousness can me and my body be to have total ease with everything in my life? Can you repeat this question for yourself? What energy, space and consciousness? Can me and my body be to have total ease with everything in my life? What if you can allow yourself to be different energy, space, and consciousness? What if you can allow yourself to be different embodiment that is creating that you have ease with everything and you don't need to be something from the past anymore? So can you be this question? What energy, space, and consciousness? What embodiment can I be now? to have total ease with everything in my life. What embodiment can I be now to have total ease with everything in my life? What energy, space and consciousness can me and my body be so we can have total ease with everything in, in my life? So you are more energy, space and consciousness. You are not making your body so physical. How much you are stopping your body, how much you are killing your body to make it physical. What if you can be energy, space and consciousness with your body? What can that create? What can that change? Um, yeah, thank you, Harris. But I have done so many body processes and so many different body processes. But yet it, the swelling goes for two days and it comes back again. This is, just an, excuse. This is just an excuse which you are saying now. Just be a question. You think you need to do something instead of being a question? No, I don't think that, but... Can I you mean, repeat this question, please? Yes, what embodiment can I be to have total ease with everything? Yeah. And what energy, space and consciousness can me and my body be to have ease with everything? Yes. Can you ask for it to show up? Like body processes, bars, access classes, they can't change body or life instead of you. You need to ask and then body processes and bars and access classes can contribute. You need to ask. So can you be this question now? Yes. And one more how thing. Much, mm, how yeah. much are you using fighting with your body so you don't need to receive? How much you are making problems more real than contributions? What do you like about problems? <laughs> Solving are them. <laughs> so, are, are you reminding yourself of somebody in your life? No, but I no. seem to like if there's a problem, I seem to solve it immediately like a warrior. So, what if you are trying to do something what the somebody was doing in your life all the time? What if you are trying to solve? So, what if you are trying to solve problems for somebody else? Uh -huh. But if you both problem solving reality of somebody else, are you reminding yourself of somebody with the way how you are creating your body? Is it something similar with your past, some person in your life? Uh, I'm not getting a lot of clarity in this, but I don't know. I, I'm not getting a lot of clarity. May, maybe it's too clear. You know, <laughs> maybe it's too easy clarity. So uh, you mean to say, am I creating the problem uh, so that I can uh, <clears throat> solve it? Like, am I creating the problems to be able to solve it and prove myself how, that I solve problems? How, <laughs> how much problems are you creating because you like problems? <clears throat> I like problems or I like to create solutions for those problems <clears throat> in order to create solution for the problem. But if you need a sense of, of power, you are doing it so it, you feel powerful. 
and you feel smart. So how many feelings are you using to always create and solve problems? And what if you don't need to use these feelings anymore? How much you are doing this for a good feeling? Mm -hmm. And what if you are addicted to this feeling? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what can I do then? So choose to have different future. We are using creation and solving of the problems. So we don't need to create anything. It's just sense of creation. You think that you are creating something because something is going on in your life. How much you are taking care that something is happening all the time in your life so you don't need to choose something new and you can choose only what other people are choosing but if you have secret agenda that you don't want to be different than others and you are avoiding to choose something what is not validated from this reality so you can only create what is validated from this reality and sickness it's a good thing for this reality, it's so good. So when you talk you are, about choosing are, something, yeah. tell me, tell me, yes. sorry. Yes, just because. No, no, you, you continue. I don't know what, what I wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> just <because>. Typical, <laughs> typical humanoid. <laughs> okay, so um, it could be that I am resisting choosing CF from a long, long time for, I don't know what reason, but I'm like, no, not now, no, not now. So could that be the reason of me so not wanting can, to choose? You can ask for more awareness. How, how many people are waiting for you? Or how many people don't want me to become a CF? How many people are waiting for you that you become CF? Yes, and a, a friend of mine asked me this question. How many people do not want you to be a CF? Because they are sparing yeah, your but, potency. Yeah, but don't, don't be interested in these people. Okay. So you are going to get rid of stupid people and you are going to invite more people who are choosing more in your life. Yes. So some people you are going to lose with your choice and new people are going to come. So how many people are waiting for you? Hmm, that seems very so expensive. How, how much are you avoiding to receive from these people from the future? How much are you avoiding to receive this gratitude? How much you are avoiding to help people in your life which truly like you. How much are you avoiding to help people which are going to make you uncomfortable? So you are all the time keeping stupid people which you can to totally control. How can I control stupid people? So just like stop thinking, just do it. Follow energy. Is this creating more in the world? And you just choose it. Stop thinking what people are thinking. No, when you say keeping stupid people so that I can yeah. control them, I didn't get that. Yeah. So we are keeping the same people because we can totally control these people. These people are never going to be good enough for you. So they can't surprise you. So you don't need to receive. How much are you keeping people in your life? So you can be comfortable. So you are having total control. How much you are all the time keeping people in your life who are making you bored. Mm -hmm. This is how much you are taking care that you are never receiving. There's a constant so, uh, <clears throat> fight in my mind against CF since five years. So stop being in your mind. <laughs> just follow the energy is this creating more in the world yes let's choose it stop thinking thinking is thinking with thinking you are going to create shit just stop thinking is this going to create more in the world yes and choose it and never think <laughs> Hi. that is a question Can from the great question? Chat? Oh. yes Hi. Yes, question. Okay. Yeah, please, can I ask you a question, Harris? Yes, yes. Um, so I have a client who has a, a varicose cell in his testicles and he's with pain. So uh, what question can I give him to uh, uh, use it to release 
uh, the intensity because I have told him it's an intensity and he, and I ex told him to expand and release. But what question can he use so, and what process can I give him? One of the things when something is local, we are considering it a lot of locally. What if nothing is local in the body and everything is connected with in the body? So what if you can do MTVSS on immune points? What and where? Immune points. Do you know the immune points? The immune system points? The immune, immune. Yeah, I was not immune in... system points. So there is okay. MTVSS, it's a body process, and you can yes, do MTVSS on immune points, on immune system points. Okay. I need to mute you or somebody else. All right. So you can do MTVSS on immune system points, and you are following together with his body how you can activate his whole body so all organs are working better and they are connected with together so and this is how local thing can change better because we have expectations that it needs to be local what if main organs are not working so good what if he's stopping his body like whole body and that's just a symptom okay so instead of touching his balls you can touch his immune system points. It's maybe going to be easier session. <laughs> so MTVSS is one of mo most known body processes in excess consciousness, and you do it on immune system points on different organs, and you explore how to activate his whole body with MTVSS. And you invite body into changing Okay, this is one suggestion. I have a question. Yes. From Italy. Yeah. So, Silvana uh, is asking, uh, what can I do about hormonal dysfunction um, of thyroid? What is that? Well, what is that? Hormonal dysfunction um, yeah. when all the hormones are um, unbalanced. Yeah, you need to choose to be alive. Also, somebody asked in the chat about menopause. Mm -hmm. So, menopause is result how how we killed our body twenty years ago. Like we kill our body, we stop energy of our body many times when we when we are a few years old. Then we stop the energy of our body when we are teenager. Many times we are stopping the energy of our body because we are avoiding to be sexual. We are avoiding to be energetical with our body. We don't want to influence other bodies too much. So we are stopping the energy of our body. We are stopping the energy of our body because we would like to be adult as soon as possible. This is one of the worst choices that you can do. How much you are doing biometric mimicry. So how much you are duplicating adult people and how much you are duplicating, how much you are make, doing biometric mimicry of other women to kill your body. So how much you are duplicating adult people, how much you are duplicating women to kill your body, to stop your body. And what if you don't need to do this anymore? And what if you can create something differently with your body? So how many points of views about body did you buy from other people? That your body needs to get older, that your body needs to be less functional, so you can prepare yourself for dying. What if you never need to get older? What if you never need to die and you don't need to buy anything from reality of other people about bodies? What if you don't need to die? How is your body responding to this? So how much you are creating dying in your body? And what if you don't need to do this anymore? What if you don't need to die? So what if you decided when you are going to die, how you are going to die, and you are creating dying with your body and you don't need to do this anymore, you can choose to be alive. 
So uh, how much are you creating dying with your body? So nobody finds out that you are alien, that you are unicorn. You need to die in the right way, in the right time. I have got a question from the Greek chat. Can you hear me? Yes, I need to mute now everybody first, just a moment. Yeah. Now, can you, can you unmute yourself? So we have one more yes. question and then we are finishing. Um, the question okay. is uh, from the Greek chat is um, sometimes, a lot of times you have said that you need to be ready to lose it all. And yes. um, this, if you could give a bit more, talk about it a bit more. Thank you. So whatever you are having, whatever you are holding yourself <coughs> onto it, you are not having anymore. You are destroying. So when you are willingness to lose everything, you are infinite receiving. And whatever you are keeping in your life, you are destroying your whole life in the, with this. Whatever you are attached to, you are destroying yourself. Whatever you are attached to, you are destroying yourself and you are destroying this to what you are attached to. When we are attached in relationship or family, we are killing our body and we are killing their body and we are killing our life and we are killing their life. Attachment that we have in relationship, attachment that we have <coughs> in family is taking care that you kill their life and you kill their body. way how you can create with these people is that you are giving space to each other so you don't need to be attached to anything if you don't need anything you can create anything so you don't need to be attached to anything and there is a process of, there is somebody asking about a body process for menopause there are different body processes so when you do body class or advanced body class you have manual with many processes and the best thing is that you ask the body. And one another thing is uncreate and destroy everywhere you are defining this as a menopause. You never need to say menopause. You just, you are stopping to be more alive with your bodies. You, you don't say a menopause because when you are defining it as a menopause, you are projecting menopause on your body. So don't buy that menopause is, a, is true. Menopause is a lie. Menopause is conclusion. There is no true diagnosis. Every diagnosis is just a conclusion. It's not a reality in the body. So you always ask the body, body, what is this? Can we change it? How can we change it? What can we do about it? And you are creating more with your body. You never buy diagnosis or some definition that is true. Because this is something what you start to keep in your body and what you are projecting on your body when you buy the Phoenician diagnosis. So what if you don't need to make the menopause true? And also what we mentioned as a body process is biometric mimicry. How much menopause, how much killing of your body was created by duplicating other people and other wo women, other females? Little or a lot? So biometric mimicry is one of the process and please take a body class, advanced body class manual and ask the body and find the process which your body is choosing. And thank you everybody, we are finishing. We have at seven o'clock, we need to finish, I'm sorry. We have at seven o'clock PM, also another free online class. You can check it on my page. What is creation of millions? So we can see each other in five hours, something like that. See you soon, everybody. Thank you. Thank bye, you. bye, Thank Harris. You. Love you. Thank you, Harris. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Bye, Harris. 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 Bye, Harris.